Let's get to it. Now, today we got Tim Zhu. Now, Tim Zhu is the interim champ, the WBO interim champ, and he's set to become the full status champ on September the 30th after Jamel Charlo step into the ring to fight Canelo. After Jamel Charlo step in that ring, they will officially strip Jamel Charlo of his WBO title, and they're going to just give it to Tim Zhu. Good. Who the fuck is that guy? It's going to be via email he's an email champ he's not going to beat anyone for it it's going to be via email he's an email champ his first time ever being an official champ is going to be by email he's an email champ we can't he's an email champ he had an interview where they was asking him about Jamel charlo the fact that he said that he will come down to 154 and fight for his titles and defend his titles um now this sounds like something that will make tim zoo happy i mean he's been asking for Jamel charlo but Tim Zoo took that time to actually trash Jamel Charlo. He said that only shows how he's not confident in his upcoming fight with Canelo. Now, I don't see how that makes sense. I mean, but he did break it down on the interview. And I'll show you the clip of it right here. I saw that uh, Jamel said that he's not done with the division as well. Uh, is that it's still a fight that uh, you want down the track? Yeah, for sure. For sure. I've always wanted Mel on my resume, you know. That's the list, that's the name that I need on my resume. But that just shows how he's not confident of beating Canelo, you know. You're not, if you're a 168 undisputed champion, you're not going to go back to 154. That's facts. Yeah, that's facts. So the fact that he's saying, I'm not done with 154, he knows that he's going to get his ass whooped. So he's going to come back down. Simple. I don't have that mentality. Don't think about losing ever. So you see him saying that, you know, he's not confident and he know he's going to get beat. So he got plans on coming back down to 154. Because anybody else who think about winning will stay at 168. See, you can't win with this. Absolutely not. People are going to take what he's saying and they're going to run with it. Let's say he beat Canelo and he decides to stay at 168. As boxing fans, what do you guys think they're going to say? Look at you scared now, you ho. Anybody who said to themselves, they're going to say Jamel Charlo was ducking, you were right. To this, to this, to this day. You see, if he stayed 168, they're going to say he's ducking, right? But then you got Tim Zoo coming out saying him coming back down to 154 is him not confident in his fight with, with Canelo. This kid is some circus clowns. <laughs> <laughs> he already know he's going to lose, so he's going to run back down to 154. That's what he's saying. Shut the fuck, shut up. You can't make this up. You know, and it's not something surprising coming from somebody like this, coming from an Australian fighter, somebody who other people look at and praise. You know, they praise other fighters from other countries, and it's it's normal. It's something that we always see. My thing is this. People will take it and run with it, and then they also try to make Tim Zoo to seem like he's some type of big dog. He's not. His first official championship is going to be via email, you a fucking joke. And I'm supposed to think he's special because he beat Carlos Ocampo, somebody who's never been a champion, somebody who's never even been an interim champion, somebody who already had two losses when he faced Tim Zoo. Or am I supposed to feel like he's special because he beat a washed up Tony Harrison who already had three losses by the time he faced Tim Zoo? You a sucker, that's realistic. Either he's ducking Tim Zoo at 154 or he's not. You can't say that he's scared to be at 168 and he's not confident that he's going to beat canelo and he's not going to stay at 168 so he's going to run back down to 154 but then you turn around and say <clears throat> he's leaving 154 because he's trying to duck tim zoo come on man let's make it make sense